and today we're gonna be working back on the Evo you guys just saw we figured out the problems on it and when I sent that map to Ronnie that was doing a boost cut we actually just put the original map on the car because we were doing so many different things with the tune who knows where we're at with it so we put the original map right off the dyno the final map and the car runs perfect so super happy this thing came together and then of course it spit the belt on the serpentine belt so we got a brand new gates belt here for it because the one that was on it was pretty crusty and now the car revs out to 8500 rpms so not really too surprised but today we do have a windshield appointment for the car so we are going to get right to it get this belt on the car let this thing warm up and we have some special company here so i'm gonna throw this belt on and then you guys are going to see exactly who's here and what new project we have try to get warm on me but thankfully I was close to home. Man this thing sounds good guys. Now let us see warm up and it's gonna be finally time for you guys to meet the new project. Dun, 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 dun. Who do we got? I see a Ford. I'm so unattractive oh. on camera. What's Don't get getting for my good shot. <laughs> Look at that. We got Gaparu. 2,700 miles, man. Dude, she is pretty frosty right now. Is I she used to this? Anyone's dedication to me, man. 2,700 <laughs> miles from Maryland and 2,700 miles back. Just oh. to build her up for TX2K. Look at this. We'll even look at the plate. Oh. You don't get much of those around here. So dirty, man. Now, we're gonna go give her a nice bath so she can get tucked away. Then we can get her back together. You ready for this? I'm always ready, man. Well, we're gonna go to the car wash and then as soon as we get back, then I'll be able to show you better the car because she's a bit frosty right now. Sorry to disappoint everyone. <laughs>
thought old Gapperu and old Hyper Blue would get the meat. I knew it was only a matter of time. Never thought the day would come. Damn, man, I fucked that up. Why you gotta point that out on camera? What'd That's you do? Right what is that? Had the bumper in the back of the truck bed and apparently it rubbed on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta get her down here to pop over. There you go. And pull it over this way a little bit, like that. And then she goes right back and look, I'm doing this one handed. <laughs> no, I can't. There we go. See, now I gave you. Now I can't do this. Like yeah, I know. Do. I don't know how you got it on last time so perfect. Probably because I had to take them off a million freaking times. We went and gave old Gapperu here a nice bath. That way she can be at least clean. We can finish wiping her off now that we got the road grime off of it and tuck her away in. Get her out of this cold weather. She's probably not used to all this frost. No, she doesn't like it at all, actually. So. We're gonna get the scene tucked away in the garage, and then from then, we have to go get a new windshield in the Evo, and we're gonna go check in on the race car, maybe grab some food. I'm starving, Unfortunately, actually. we're in Washington, so everything's shut down. So, drive through only. That's fine. Or takeout, so we're gonna have some fun. We're trying to find some food, get the scene in the garage, and I'll catch you guys up. Now we got Gapperu in the garage. We are gonna go out to Ranch Built and take a look at the race car, introduce Omar out to him because we have some things that we're going to be doing on his car. So we're getting packed up and heading out. We just got two ranch built. We already dropped off the Evo to get the new windshield. And we are going to be letting Omar meet Chris and Craig over here at Ranch Built. Check out the environment. We got Josh's 05 STI and Travis's outside while they're doing some work. We're going to go in. I'm going to warn the guys I got the camera. And then from there, I'll give you guys an update on the car. So as everyone's going outside to check out a car, I'm gonna do an update on the race car that you guys have been asking for. And they've been definitely making some progress on this thing. As you guys saw the last time, the cage had got finished up. He's checking it out inside. So that's still all done. Uh, the front of the car is coming all together now. They did just get the new fuel cell put on the car. And I know I posted this thing before it was all the way done. And there were some concerns online about having a fuel cell up in the front of the car. And obviously, you know, Worst case, if something was to happen and it hit a wall, and being within the rule book, there has to be an actual cage around the fuel cell. Well, like I said, I put it up there before it was done, and now here we are back. This thing is all finished up. They do have a cage that goes around the fuel cell here, connects, ties down into this, comes off the frame, and that comes up and around like this around the fuel cell. So that way it is nice and safe, guys. It is within the rule book. They also have these nice little supports that are all along here there's another one another one for the bumper make sure it's nice and strong put on the car little th things are getting done it's a lot of little stuff that's been adding up and taking up a lot of craig's time so next up that they're going to be doing now they got the fuel cell done is building a nice uh, beauty plate that kind of covers this hole here i did just get a brand new fuse box because this thing is getting the factory wiring put back in so we just put this here so we can mock this up and put a panel there same on to this side so gives you a nice update for the car just a quick one omar is kind of checking in having them look at a couple things that they're going to be doing to his car as well and then from there we're going to be probably heading back to pick up the evo and do a couple things at the house as usual, we got pretty tied up and ran our errands that we needed to, came back. We obviously got the Evo. You can see it's in the air. And I also made a decision and that was to trade the exhaust that was on this thing for a stock exhaust. Some of you will agree, some of you won't. But since this is gonna be our winter car daily driver for the wife, it made more sense. I'll stand in the light here. It made more sense to do that because she leaves at 3 a.m. and we wanted it to be quieter anyway. So we just wanted the quiet car to daily drive it can be loud when you get on it car still makes great power so we got that on we got the new windshield in only a couple things left guys we have parts coming in for this thing this week so you guys will be seeing that now being friday i guess that means next week but we need to put tpms sensors in to get rid of that code on the dash and that means we need to dismount and remount these tires do an alignment on the car uh little things like fixing this window guard there we need to put 3m on that I do want to pick up some front fender liners for this thing and we'll probably put a front lip on it. But other than that, this thing's pretty much done, ready to go. We're going to say goodbye to the guys. Omar, here he is. Bam. Oh, wow. I just put face. the camera in my face. <laughs>
They're heading out. Oh my god, dude. We should look at the cars before I go so I can hug her. I know, her. right? You had quite the day today. Yeah, <laughs> if you can't tell already, this guy decided to drop the freaking exhaust off the Evo onto my forehead and about kill me. So. And then what you did to him after? And then he nut checked him. I nut checked him, that's right. I was told him to hold the exhaust and I dropped it How on How do we him. open this? Though? You gotta press the button inside. Oh, dude. <laughs> I gotta go press it. He's gotta say goodbye to his girl. But they're getting ready to head back on their trip. They have a 50 hour drive to go on. All the way back 36. to Maryland. 36? He says 50, he says 36. I don't know which one to believe. 36. Look at this, just opening it up. Oh, there she is. Tucked away with Hyper Blue. Who would have thought? We have three of the highest house horsepower VAs here. That's true. Well, my number four, I think, maybe. Yeah, we just need Caleb's car. We'll be right there. Oh, my baby. Well. Next time you'll see it, it'll be running. She'll be ready, man. We're going to Texas. We're He's gonna, gonna hear it run and not even know what to do. No, I'll probably cry and pass out from joy. <laughs> Should be a good time in Texas, man. Oh, yeah. Brother, Fine. thanks so much for everything, Brilliant. dude. I appreciate it. Thank oh, you thank so much, you. dude. You're a punk, but thanks. For dropping exhaust on me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dick. So, well, wish us luck on our 2,700 mile journey with this empty trailer. We're gonna dude, they literally could not drop this U-Haul trailer back off here. They have to drive it all the way back. I wonder if your truck's gonna get stuck right there. They they rented a two-wheel drive truck. <laughs> Yo, <guaranteed laughs> yeah, they drove it cross country, two-wheel drive, we got stuck in the yard this morning. Oh, it was great. Sprayed me with mud. <laughs> Sprayed him with mud. <laughs> Covered All the mud. Shit. It was yeah, a great day. Get out of my hair, actually. Well, guys, have a safe trip. Thanks, brother. Uh, well, Keep in touch. Definitely laugh at us to get stuck right now. <laughs> Till then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Hey. Life up in the fast lane. Turn me up. And I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. Living life up in the fast lane.